Welcome back to Couch Combos, where I sit here and wonder why my upstairs neighbors need the vacuum every other damn day. Okay, something I saw on Twitter that I really think is important to discuss is there's been a lot of people asking questions about how you balance um, being a content creator and having a relationship, right? Um, and I say that because as content creators, we, um, we share quite a bit of our lives with you, with the audience, right? Um, so how do we fit a partner into that without taking advantage of them or on the flip side, putting them to the wayside in favor of giving a certain amount of ourselves to our community? I think it's a really good question to ask. because I This is the first time I've ever seen it discussed and it's been asked more than once, at least on my Twitter feed, probably more on somebody else's. So I want to kind of like give my perspective a little bit. Hopefully it can, you know, shed some light. If you're a content creator or you're thinking about getting into content creation and this is something that's kind of had you hesitant, maybe it'll kind of help you make a better decision. So um, first off, my situation is a little different than some. Um, my partner, I actually met him through streaming on Twitch, right? He was raided into my community and he became like a very active community member and became a mod and then we kind of went from there and it ramped up, you know, as things do. And now he's he's my person. So, you know, from the jump, from day one that he knew me, he knew I was a content creator. Um, this wasn't a new thing for him. It was a new thing for me. That's how he knew me. So it, it wasn't something that I had to be like, hey, just so you know, I live stream, I make YouTube videos, I cosplay, I do all of these things is that something that you're comfortable with. He knew who I was off rip, so there was no question. If you're gonna like me for me, you realize you like me, yes, of course, as the person I am off camera, but also as the person I am on camera and the things that I do on camera. Is that okay? And he's never had a problem with it. But I will say that I did indeed have a conversation with him very, 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 very early in our relationship, like within the first week. And I was like, you know I'm a content creator. You know I'm a live streamer. You know, I make YouTube videos, you know, I cosplay, you know, I have very active social media presence. I am never, ever going to, number one, use you for content. Not without your express written permission. It, it has to be okay with you, but I will never exploit you for content. That's first and foremost. Second, I'm a workaholic. I'm much better now, but at the time it was bad. I was like, I am a workaholic, so I can get in the groove of creating and editing and posting and creating and editing and posting. And I, I might get stuck in that, but I will always make time for you. If you need me, if you want me to hang out with you, I will stop what I'm doing. And even when I was unmedicated for ADHD, I would still stop. If he wanted to hang out, cool, PC's off. He's always gonna be a priority for me, right? Number three, I said, I, I, again, I share a good chunk of my life with my audience you do not have to be part of that chunk if you are not comfortable with it. I will never, you know, share parts of my relationship if there are ever problems, not that we have problems, but if there are ever problems, that'll never be a thing that my audience hears about. I will never make content off things going on between us. That will never be something that is anybody's business but ours. I was very upfront about that. I said, now, knowing you and knowing him, he's, he's a very behind the scenes person. He hates being on camera. He just makes him freeze up and that's totally valid. So I'm guessing you would prefer that I don't post you a whole bunch. I don't really talk about us that much on, on the internet. Is that what you want? And he actually surprised me. He's like, I really don't care. <laughs> He's like, if, if you want to post a picture or I, he did X, Y, and Z for me or whatever, if, if you're excited, sure. But yes, I agree with everything else. Posting our business, that's not a thing that I do, right? So yeah, I'll post a picture of him once in a blue moon or put him on my Instagram story. Um, and obviously if you come to my live streams, which you should, but if you come to my live streams, we do share an office and you can hear him almost constantly throughout the stream laughing, commenting, and everybody loves him. They call him the on-site chat representative. That's, that's the extent of his presence within my content creation life. And that's something that we found that works for us. And I think at the end of the day, it's between you and your partner to have that discussion and be very frank and just say, hey, what's gonna work for us? Because it's not how do I fit you into my content creation life, it's how do I make it so that my relationship and my content creation life coexist peacefully.
because at the end of the day, how they feel is very important. They're a person, they deserve to have that comfort and it deserves to be respected. And that's really it on it. And we haven't had a single problem. We've been dating over a year and he has no issue, right? He's my photographer. Whenever I take cosplay photos, he's the one taking the pictures. Um, he helps me set up for stream every time I go live. Like I said, he's the on-site chat representative. He's my secretary. He helps me respond to brand deals. He helps me find stuff. He's all over Twitter looking for things for me. So he plays a very background role, but he likes to be supportive in a way that he's comfortable. And quite frankly, I suck at that kind of stuff, so it works perfectly fine. But we had to have that conversation. So that's really all you have to do. If you're ever asking, how do you balance having a relationship and being a content creator, being a streamer, being a YouTuber, being whatever, communicate. Communication will fix any problem you have or any problem you perceive could be a problem in the future. That's all from the couch. I need to go tell people to hydrate despite having not drank anywhere near enough water myself. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the Penguin Village um, for more couch combos content, more fun stuff, gaming, collabs, all the good-ish. It really helps my channel grow. It really tells you too that we're on and popping and I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you next time right here on the couch. Okay? Okay. Bye!